And welcome back to Mooney Reads. Hello everyone, I'm Mooney from Mooney Reads and this is where I talk about books and things. And I thought, you know what, I have a week off of work and I haven't had a week off in a really long time. So why not use it to read a little? And I have here my January TBR, which I'm planning on filming, we'll see how it goes. But um, I'm reading right now I love this cover. Cytonic by Brandon Sanderson. I have a high and low, like, like a high and low hate, love and hate relationship with this series. I have a love and hate relationship with Sanderson in general. But so far, I'm like, I would say 50 pages in, maybe? Yeah, I'm about 50 pages in. And, um, interesting. Interesting. That's all I'm going to say about it for now. Uh, I am going to try to finish Cytonic today. Just... I kind of want to get it out of the way because I have like, I have two series that I want to finish in Saiton and, and this one is one of them. I know there's a companion book, but that one we'll get to sometime. I had a, a doctor's appointment yesterday where they basically destroyed my vagina. <laughs> yeah. I It's a whole long story, I don't want to get into it and it's really traumatic and horrible, but um, the doctors were super nice, it was just the the, the procedure itself was horrific and if I never have to go through that again it will be too soon so I didn't read much yesterday all I did was like take painkillers and sleep um so yeah so this is my book of the day I'm not gonna put makeup on I don't think it's, this is what you see is what you get because I'm not going anywhere today I'm just gonna lay on the couch I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna read. Let's see if I can finish this today. I must look like <laughs> shit. But I just keep falling asleep reading this book. I am on page 119. So we haven't really met, made it much headway today in this reading situation. But the truth is I keep falling asleep reading this book because, I don't know, it's like Up meets Treasure Planet, but not good. I don't know, it's it's not gripping, it's not, like I don't care about anything that's happening in this book. And I can't tell you anything that's happening in this book because it's the third in the series, so, so I'll just spoil everything. But basically, I just don't really care, I just, the first book was so good, the second book, meh. The third book, but, I, but the, the, here's the thing, I'm giving it a shot still because... Brandon Sanderson tends to surprise me in the third act. Like, the third act, I'm like, oh my god, that was so good. You know, so, yeah. I'm gonna try, I have, let's see, how many hours do I have left? Sorry if you see something random here, like, this. that's my cat. <laughs> um, I have three hours and 48 minutes left. I can finish this today, and I really want to finish it today. Simply because I want to get this over with. That's, <coughs> sorry. That's the general feeling I have. I also can't find my tripod. I moved house. I don't know if you can tell, but basically I moved. And um, I don't know where my tripod is. So there's that. No tripod. Which means right now you're balancing on two books and the step stool from Ikea. That's also why you're not going to get a lot of um, scenes from my house. Also my house is... I should clean. Maybe that'll keep me from falling asleep. It's not dirty, it's just messy. You don't care. Anyway, so yeah, um, not really enjoying this. I don't really care what's going on. I feel like if the character they're setting up 
<clears throat> now to be a bad guy is the bad guy is is the bad guy I, I just think that's so predictable and boring so okay i'm gonna set a goal let's set a goal i want to get to part four of the book because part four because i'm currently on part three i'm on the intro i'm i'm on part three interlude part three so i want to get to part four which is 100 more pages which i can totally do i'm just so bored reading this oh my god i, I just Damn it, that was not a good book to come back to, but here we are. So I'm gonna read it, and yeah, that's that's <laughs> that that's my update. I'm not enjoying this book, but I will finish it because I'm gonna finish this goddamn series. Probably look like a ghost but that's okay because I feel dead inside finishing this I am 100% convinced that I'm sorry if there's echo is there an echo there's not enough furniture in this room but anyway this book only has a high rating on Goodreads because it's Sanderson and Sanderson could literally write shit and people will like it I'm sorry this book is so bad I find nothing compelling in this book. I find nothing interesting. It adds nothing to the story. Not, there's nothing here that adds anything to what I had previously read. And now they're like throwing in this stupid... Look, there's nothing... You know, I have a video about this. I hate when people come back from the dead. This is not a spoiler because I'm... Jesus, I'm just spit all over myself. Because I'm not going to say who comes back from the dead or who might come back from the dead. It's just bad. I swear, the only reason I'm finishing this is because I have this much left of it and because this is the first book I'm reading this year. And it can only go up from here because this is such a DNF book. Like, if we were, like, in March and I picked this up, I would DNF it. And then, and then I come to fucking find out that this is even the, the end of the series. Like, I thought this was gonna be a trilogy. Sanderson is the most money-hungry, annoying-ass, author of authors well okay not of all authors but you know of the famous ones of booktube like just make a fucking trilogy like ugh, a non-stop high-flying opener with this action-packed yeah you're right it's action-packed because there's nothing going on there's no character growth there's nothing there is nothing going on in this fucking book okay mbot is cool like every time i'm like yeah mbot but i just it's so boring. This is this is so bad. It's so bad. And I'm gonna just lay on this bed and finish it. And I'm gonna finish it because if I don't, I'm never gonna finish it. And oh, now I have to like wait for the next book to finish the fucking series. And what are we gonna do? An Eye of the World and make twelve books of these? I already committed myself to reading The Expanse this year. I really didn't want to do this. I thought this was going to be the final book and I was really excited about it because it was going to wrap up. Everything was going to make sense. But no, Sanderson had to throw that out the window and just be Sanderson and be like, let's do some more world building. Let's do some more world building that makes no sense. If you like world building, read this shit because there's nothing else. There's just nothing else in it. It's just world building and world building that doesn't make sense and... It's boring. It's boring. Like everything that made the first good, the first, <laughs> the first book good, is not here. Like it's gone. Like it was kind of there in the second book, and here's it's gone. Just bye. See you later. And there, there are characters here that are just like, why is this such badly written? And and like the the high stakes of this makes no sense. It's just filler. Like I could condense this book to about this much and it would and it would make more sense. This fucking sucks. I'm so angry. I'm so angry that this is the first book that I picked this year. So I hope I finish it and I just put it on my shelves and I am debating whether I'm gonna continue on with this series because I fucking hate this book.
my super blown out that's okay it doesn't matter because this book sucked so bad <laughs> I am so angry I read it, but you know what? It was the first book of the year. I didn't want to DNF it. I'm pretty sure Brandon Sanderson knows that he's like the book world darling where I, I literally wrote this on Twitter where he could write turd, just turd for 400 pages and people would be like, the world building is just so amazing in this book. <laughs> this was bad. This is objective. Okay, I can't be objective, but this was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. I just don't understand anything about this book. Um, it kind of derailed the whole story in a way that is kind of fantasy. That's the thing. I, I, I keep wanting him to do sci-fi right and he's like, oh yeah, I can do fantasy. And there's nothing wrong with fantasy again. Like, I like fantasy in some aspects, but I didn't want fantasy in this one, and not only that, but it's just it's just a B plot. In it, literally, it's just a B plot. Like nothing that happens has any meaning in the in the in the main story up until the very end. And the whole thing about the Delvers and what they are is just I don't get it. If you liked it, I'm glad you liked it, but I, I, I really, really did not like it. Like, <laughs> to the point where I'm like, Sanderson is becoming that author that I will not read from again, like Blake Crouch. I did do a video on Blake Crouch, but you're probably never gonna see it because it's really old and no longer relevant, but let's just say that I'm never reading a Blake Crouch novel, novella, nothing again. I am going to continue with the Skyward series because I have the novellas that, that came out. So, and I've heard that they actually have something to do with the main story. But yeah, oh, let me get the book that I'm gonna read next. I, I, have, I have a few, hang on. <laughs> I have a few. I'm actually reading this book for a comic book, um, what's it called, book club that I'm a part of. I don't want to finish it too soon because I want to have some things fresh in my mind, but I'm like, I don't know, 75% done with it. It's really good. It's called That One Summer by Jillian Tamaki and Mariko Tamaki. Um, it's about a kind of coming of age story about these two girls that spend their summers at this wonderful place, but not everything is wonderful this summer and again it's a coming of age story so it's really good I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna finish this in the next 20 minutes honestly and then I have this one I bought this when I was on my booktube like extravaganza buy everything now and what I want to do with this is um, I, I got this idea from books of Lala where I just read one story a day so this is gonna be throughout the whole month and I'm gonna read that for the whole month and the other book that I want to get to this week is another finish to a series, not series, a trilogy. And it's Only Human by Seville Novelle. Is it Seville Novelle? Um, I've read the first two books, but I wasn't, I was kind of angry at the last, like the, the previous one for killing off my favorite character. So I don't know. <laughs> it's taking me a while to get over and. I just want to finish the series. I have the entire series, so um, this is my TBR for the rest of the week. Well, this one is kind of for the rest of the month. Uh, I have a bunch of short story collections that I just haven't gotten to, and I think I'm just gonna put this by my bedside. And before I go to bed, I'm just gonna read one of those. So yeah, um, as far as doing anything else, I don't plan on doing anything. I plan on resting and getting ready for work because I'm off work this week and that's so good but um, yeah I'll see you when I have anything to update you on hey so um, since we last spoke I've done quite a bit of reading but it's been most I, I mean I've read two novellas and I've read about 35% of um, Only Human I read uh, Randomize by Andy Weir, which I liked. It was fine. I mean, it was a little novella. There wasn't a lot of character development or anything like that. But I saw a, a, a critique of it in the um, in the Goodreads, and it was like 
this novella is so, what is it, racist because the brown woman is the bad guy and I'm like, the brown woman is the smartest person here. Like, I don't understand that. So, it's about hacking um, casinos in the future. That's what it's about. So I gave that three stars. It was fine. Um, I'm having a rough reading time. I'm reading this, honestly, just to finish it. Um, it's meh. At, be at best, it's meh. Like, I tried reading it once before, but I couldn't do it because it was just so fucking meh. It was meh. And it's still meh, and I don't care about any of the characters, and yeah, it's pretty bad, honestly. So I'm reading it, and it's probably going to be a two or three star. And then I read another novella called The Only Living Girl on Earth by Charles Yu. I actually really like this one, except like it's told in three parts. The second part, I was like, what the fuck is going on? And but I liked it so I gave it four stars so that's good for me. I still am terrified of reading Kid by what is it Sebastian de Souza because it's so big but I have to start it eventually. But yeah so today I have read one two three and a half books. You know two novellas one entire book. My reading year is just not off to a good start. I need something good. Because the end of last year, I read The Burning Girls, which was really good. I read A, a Head Full of Ghosts, which was really good. I kind of want to read A Cabin in the Woods. A Cabin in the Woods? Is it A Cabin in the Woods? Yeah. I kind of want to read that. But, okay, so here's the thing. So I'm on a year-long no-buy because reasons. Because basically because I want to challenge myself to not buy anything for a year. Which means I can't buy books. So I'm basically going through like the books that I do have and I'm facing them and I'm realizing that I bought a lot of books that I don't want to read. Because you know, I was in the throes of book to passion and buying shit. So yeah, so I bought a lot of books that I don't want to read. And also my ability to read physically has gone down since I discovered audiobooks. So I'm trying to get through, for example, I have this in audio, but that cost me one audible credit because I can buy, like I kept script and audible and I can get books from there, but you know, I can't buy more, uh, more credits. Which sucks because like there's a lot of books that I want to read that are just on fucking Audible. And I have one credit and if I, and I'm at that point where I have returned so many books where they're like you can't return a book. So I have to be careful with what I buy. But there are just so many books that I want to read like The Last Astronaut, The Passengers, This Charming Man. The Haunting of Ashburn House, The Disappearance at Devil's Rock, like that one's one that's really calling me. Leech, Practical Magic, Hex. I, I mean, there's just so many books on here that I really want to read. But I have one credit. I'm going to have another one soon, but that's two credits. Like, I have 172 hours on the moon. I mean, there's like some good shit here. <laughs> And I don't know what to pick. I'm having that thing where you have too many options and you don't know what to pick. But I have been like, I, 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 so like I was severely depressed, like seriously severely depressed, like off myself severely depressed for a long time. And then it went away and then I got some bad news and then I kind of, it's not that it came back, it's just that I started I know that if I don't take care of myself, it's going to come back. So I've been forcing myself to read. That's why I've been reading a lot of novellas so that I can like feel that I'm doing something other than just surviving. And uh, I'm so happy to be reading again. And I think that that's important for me right now. So um, I don't know where this is going anymore. 
Also, welcome to my couch. It's actually a day bed because cats. But um, yeah, this, I think this is another little area I can film. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to read. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I'm having that thing where you have so many choices that you don't know what choice to make. But I have read stuff today, and I'm very proud. Although, I, I'm kind of like, you've read novellas. It doesn't count. It totally does count. It Novellas count, okay? So, yeah. But I haven't read anything that's blown my mind. And I really want to pick a book that's going to be like, yeah, like I really like that. And I'm not sure what book that is. So I kind of want to read, like, kind of soft sci-fi, but also space. Does that make any sense? Hello. Welcome back to another day of my vacation, which I am very, like, I, it's now like the first few days of my vacation were really like just trying to get out of working like mentality. And now I'm like fully relaxed and happy. That's why you get so many days off. But anyway, last night I started reading this. I read one short story, like I said I was going to, but it left me wanting more. So the short story I read was about Space Voyage. And it was really short. I And I really enjoyed that. I don't know why I used to think that I didn't enjoy short stories, but I actually think I kind of do. Hang on, I'm kind of in front of the camera. I actually think I kind of do. It was really good. So yeah, this is going to be like my nighttime book i'll just read one short story a day but here's the thing after i read that i couldn't sleep because i woke up kind of late and i just couldn't go to sleep so instead of reading only humans which is hurting my soul and i think will be my first dnf of the year let's see i mean i only have two hours left i can do two hours i can like push through but but let me tell you i don't want to um i started another one no wait it's not here I started another book that everybody kept like kept popping up on like lists and best of the years and stuff like that from people that read sci-fi and that is Dead Silence by S.A. Barnes and um, this hooked me I was so hooked like I was kind of falling asleep and I was like no I want to keep listening but then I stopped I didn't get too far in there let me see how far in I got well I got 20% in really so that was pretty good. I still have five hours left of that audiobook. But my goal today is to finish Only Human. Because honestly, just leaving that series off and not finishing it after reading the first two books just seems silly to me. But it also seems silly to me that I'm torturing myself with this fucking book. But anyway, it's only two hours. I've got dishes to do. I was gonna go to the city hall today, but I think it's closed. So I'm gonna go on Monday. By the way, I don't own Dead Silence, which is a real tragedy. Well, for now, let's see. Let's see how it goes because maybe I'll just be like, like, what was that one? Into the Drowning Deep by Mira Grant, which was, it was not a bad book. I'm not saying it was a bad book. I'm just saying that it was hilarious. It was like a campy B movie. Like, I don't understand why like people were like, this is so scary. I'm like, no, it's not. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Not in a bad way, like it was ridiculous in a way like I enjoyed the ridiculousness, but yeah, it was funny What do you want me to do? So I got all dolled up today, not not all dolled up, but you know, I put some makeup on, I put actual clothes on uh, Yesterday you saw me in clothes, but actually I was wearing pajama pants the whole time Today I'm wearing jeans, which is good because it'll keep me away from laying in my bed That's the thing that I'm trying to do, is just stay away from laying in my bed because that makes that makes me sad. Sorry, I was putting the book back there. Here's my cat. You haven't seen her in a while. A little boo boo. So I'm gonna clean up the house while I listen to Only Human and pretend that I'm listening to Dead Silence because that's what I really wanna listen to. Welcome to this morning. You wanna see outside my, my, my window? Look at my garden. This is what I see every morning when I wake up. It's a tiny garden. I know it doesn't seem like much, but for the city, that's actually pretty good. Um, I don't know what I want for breakfast. I love that these are my problems. Like, seriously, why can't I stay home every day? As you can see, I am dressed to go out because I figured out that I could get the stuff from the city hall. But I have to take a bus to get there. 
<sighs> so I'll take I'm gonna take the silence. I'm 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 really considering DNFing only human. Mm, which sucks because I have it on my physical DVR. But you know what? 2023 is not the year to torture yourself with books. So if you don't want to read a book, maybe just put that thing down. Don't read it. I'm always the one saying put books down, and here I am forcing myself through this slodge of a book. So I'm gonna listen to that silence on the way there, on the way back. It's not a long ride, it's like 20 minutes, but yeah. But then I have to go to the mall because I have to get some, um, what's it called? Some dry shampoo, because mine ran out, because I never wash my hair. I know, I'm one, I'm one of those people. And, oh, you can see my bookshelves from here. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna be listening to my audiobook the whole time. So yeah. Also, when I come back, I have to do something about this. This place is a mess. I have to clean up. I have to wash dishes. I have a full day today, so let's get going. So I finished cleaning the living room and dining room, and I'm going to show you around for a second because I haven't shown you my new house, including my garden. I have a garden now. And I'm not done with, the with um, what is it called? Dead silence? It's right here, dead silence. Yeah. Um... It's gonna be a three star or something. Uh, yeah, it's went downhill. It went it really went downhill. Uh, but yeah, I cleaned. I'll show you. Let me see. There's my altar and my Roomba, and here we have some more books. Everything is organized. Here's my garden outside, and everything is clean i still haven't put away christmas i'm waiting for it to do that and my bookshelves are kind of a mess because i took out all of like like that's my tbr and i took out a bunch of books to have them buy in case i want to read from like the tbr that you saw so yeah everything is clean here it smells really good here's one of my cats hey sushi and yeah, and I've got little lights, and let's see, let's take another angle. There you go. This is my little house. I would show you the bedroom, but it's quite the disaster. Let's see if you can see it from here. This is what I see when I sit down on my sofa, which is amazing. I love this view. I might just make this. Look at that. Can I... Yeah, <laughs> my cat's meowing. And then I have more books here. I love that I get to see books all over. So, so yeah. Uh, as far as cleaning goes, the kitchen is, it's something. I'm not even gonna show you because I'm ashamed, but it's something. I guess I'll finish this book while cleaning the kitchen because <laughs> I guess I have an hour left, and I think that's how long it'll take to clean the kitchen. Got something in my eye. Anyway, just heads up. The book, I mean, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's just that the reveal at the end, it's kind of like, meh. I don't know. Lost. Lost the interest for me. Lost the interest for me. And yes, I did change into my ugly stay-at-home sweater, because the other one was for, like, a nicer, like, it's for when I go to work and stuff, so... I have so many clothes to put away. Let's get this done. So, I finished cleaning the kitchen and surprisingly had still 20 minutes left of this audiobook, which is crazy because I thought it was gonna take me hours to clean the kitchen, but it really didn't. It was just a bunch of dirty plates, really. Um, so, dead silence. Uh, did I tell you what this book is about? Um, yeah, I did. But if I didn't, um, this group of... Um, space travelers i don't know what they are really they're like long haul mission travelers they get a distress begin from this ship and they go check it out because this is basically the teen leader's last um journey and she wants to stretch it out as much as she can and then um uh space ghosts happen <laughs> space ghosts <laughs> so it literally is space ghosts but um well, not literally. I'll let you figure that one out for yourself. But, um, I don't know. It kind of lost a little bit of wind for me, but I, in the end, I gave it a 
3.75 stars, which I'm going to bump it up to 4 on Goodreads, but it's nothing to write home about. It's a book that I'm probably going to forget in a couple of weeks when I read other things, but I don't know. I, I like the main character. That is one thing that I will say. I like the main character. So that's one book down. Now we're going to tackle Only Human, which I have over here. I have a physical copy. So I'm going to tackle Only Human, which is upside down. <laughs> and i um, not going to enjoy a single second of it. And I still have like two hours left of that book. So that's going to be fun. And that cost me an audible credit. But anyway, let's show you my kitchen. So you can see um, there's still pots and pans. I don't know why I'm explaining this to you. But basically, um, they have to soak. So here we go. Nice clean kitchen. There we go. There's still a Christmas tree there. I'm telling you, with Christmas, I he, these are the pots and pans that have to soak. But I washed so many dishes, I had to put them away. And the floor is all clean. And here's my dryer, which I I don't know how I ever lived without a dryer during the winter time. Seriously. So yeah. Mm, so far, so good. Finished one book today proud of myself and let's see if i can finish another one i'm not sure if i'll finish it because to be honest like i don't even like this book i've wanted to dnf so bad but rodrigo keeps telling me like it's the last book in a series you only have two and a half hours left of the audiobook just finish it so i'm just gonna let it like <laughs> you know i'm gonna do work like i'm gonna work on the bedroom and all of the clothes folding and all of that while that goes on but i might take a break though I might take a break I might take a break we'll see i did it i finished only human today and i gave it two stars honestly the ending was kind of sweet um but it it, it didn't like <laughs> i i didn't care for 75 percent of this book just the beginning and the end that's it so it gets two stars and I guess that's it. Weekend, not weekend, this day. I, it was like a 24-hour reading vlog, really. Uh, that's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to read one more short story tonight, but I think it's time for me to call it a day with filming. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and, I don't know, leave a robot emoji for Only Human. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.